Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, I decided to do a, um, just a, uh, kind of a beginner's tutorial on, uh, on basic lock picking. Um, this is the, uh, the master, the master lock number three that, uh, you're going to see everybody suggest, uh, you start with all three of these locks are, uh, are low security, meaning they don't have any security pins, no spool pins, no serrated pins. These are cheap locks that you can get, uh, you know, you can get them at the discount store, the dollar store, local hardware stores. They're all around five dollars a piece or so, five or six dollars. Um, this was my first lock. Um, this is what got me into a hobby. I actually started with some paper clips. <laughs> um, there are videos available. I'm not going to show you, uh, you know, how to make the paper clip picks, but uh, I was able to get this lock open with those. And then once I realized I liked the hobby, I went out and purchased. Uh, these are just a few of the picks. As you get into this, you're going to acquire a whole lot of picks. But what you need to start out with is a few tension wrenches. The key to lock picking is all in the tension. And then there's a few different types of uh, picks, and I'll show you how to use each one of these and, and uh, some of the techniques. We'll start with the uh, with the master lock. First, you want to pick out a tension bar that's going to fit fit nice. You want to be able to put a little tension on that core so that it can turn. Uh, one of the easiest ways to open one of these is with the S-rake, if you could see that. It's sometimes called a snake rake or an S-rake. Um, what you do is, and you don't need a lot of tension on this, just enough to keep the, uh, some, be able to move the core just a little bit. Insert the pick and just kind of rub it up. You'll feel the pins in there. Just kind of rub it back and that's it. That's simple, it opens up. You know, if you're putting so much pressure on it, your picks are starting to bend, you're using way too much pressure. Very simple, I'll show you again. Get your tension wrench in there and just gently ride over the pins. If it doesn't open in a couple of seconds, release your tension. And you're just trying to randomly set pins get this open and if that doesn't work this is called the triple peak rake also sometimes called the uh, Bogota um, an M rake I've heard it go by a few things do the same thing all it is is giving you more peaks to hit more pins at the same time and try different tensions. If it doesn't open, you know, you could use a little bit more tension, a little bit less tension, but you're basically just trying to set those pins. You'll see sometimes it's more of luck than anything. With this particular lock, I have, uh, as you can see before, I had more luck with the, uh, with the s ring. So let's say you have no luck with this one. You can move on to, this is called a city rake or an L rake. Kind of looks like the bidding of a key. This, instead of sliding back and forth, you're doing a, let's see if I can get this on camera, an up and down technique on the pit. And you see it opened up right there. So there are several different picks that you could use it. Here's another one. I'm going to show you the same techniques. This is a GLC. It's a Chinese-made lock. I got this at my local hardware store for about six bucks. And once again, I usually like to start with my uh, my S rake. Put a little tension on it, and go back and forth over the pins doesn't work reset it make sure those pins are good and try again 
Oops. And it doesn't want to open, so I'll try my triple peak again. And this doesn't want to open with this one. So we go back to this and see if you could set it. Sometimes you could overset pins, which is why you re recock this. So when you try all your, your rakes, and there it opened. Now let's assume that it didn't open with any of the rakes. Oh, right, here's another. This is called the diamond. They call this a uh, kinetic attack or a zip attack. Put the diamond in and zip it out. You want to kind of keep it parallel to the uh, to the keyway. Put some tension on the core and zip. I usually try about three times and then reset it. There's also a small diamond you could try. And that time the small diamond works. That's a zip attack. The diamonds are nice because you could also, maybe you got one or two pins set, you could also use this in an up and down motion to try to set pins. So let's say you zipped it, it didn't open, you can kind of feel around and get those individual pins that you missed. And like I said, it's all about tension. You don't need that many pits to start off. Like I said, you could open these locks of paper clips, but tension is important. This particular lock, um, you, they sell these all over the place. Guard security. Um, it's got a very wide open keyway on there. Typically, you will not be able to get enough tension on here. Your wrench will slip, if you can see that. This was a tension wrench that came with one of those, uh, you'll see them all over eBay for like 10 bucks. It's a nine piece set. Um, it's actually what I started off with. Most of them broke by now, so I went and upgraded to uh, better picks. If you can see, I filed down this one a bit um, so I could use it on, on a tubular lock I got, which I still haven't yet picked. When I do, I'll put it on video. The only way I was able to get this thing to tension, even this one slips, this is where you have to be a little inventive sometimes, is to put this in upside down, which doesn't leave a lot of room to get a pick in there. However, you can just barely get a rake in. And if you put a little tension and feel those picks, my ass rake didn't work. So I go to my triple peak and then it pops up. Um, okay. Another type of pick we have. This is called a standard hook or a uh, short hook. It's also called a feeler pick. Um, it goes by a few names. This is when you're gonna go for individual picking. When you're when you try all your rakes and you can't get the lock open, this is your go-to. Now they do make these in various sizes. Um, you'll see me using them on my other videos. But, uh, whoops, that wasn't set. Okay, it is locked. This one, you're going to do each pin individually. Actually, you know what? 
Let me do it on this lock because it has a little bit more room in the keyway for the pick. That's why you have different size hooks to get a different size keyways. And here I'm just going to feel each pin, put a little pressure on. You hear that click? That's a pin setting. Yep. And there you go. And that's called single pin picking. It takes practice. I mean, like I said, all you need to really start picking locks is a couple of cheap locks from your hardware store. You can get a cheap set of picks on eBay for about 10 bucks, 15 bucks. Um, these uh, tension wrenches, you can make these out of windshield wiper blades, the, uh, the inserts. You pull them out, um, or you can buy them online. Um, having as many of these is more, it's more important than the picks. You'll see guys that have 30, 40 different tension wrenches and only four or five picks that they use. Um, it's all about the tension. And like I said, you know, if you're starting to see bends in the pick, you're, you're putting way too much force in. You know, that's another thing. It's how you hold your pick. Some people hold it like this. Some people hold it like this. These are all okay. What you want to use is kind of use this finger as a fulcrum. And this way you get to, to feel the picks. What you don't want to be doing is this and jamming down. And if you're, it, it should be easy. It's all about finesse. You know, be gentle. If it doesn't uh, open, it's because you need more practice. Uh, it's as simple as that. You're not trying to force these open. It's all about finesse, being gentle with them. Um, so just get a comfortable, light grip. And, uh, you know, it's just all about practice. The more you practice, the better you'll be. And from after these locks, you can move on to locks with security pins, with spool pins, um, with serrated pins. There's other types of locks, uh, you know, like the vending machine style locks with the uh, tubular keys. There's dimple locks. I'll be getting to all these locks um, in other videos. Um, in the meantime, you know, be smart. Don't, uh, don't pick locks that aren't yours. Uh, you know, you can get locks pretty cheap. Um, if you don't own it don't pick it and uh, if it's in use don't pick it uh, don't go around picking your front door lock um, you know don't start fiddling around in your car locks uh, you know you jam a little pieces of metal into there things can break um, that's why we buy locks and we practice on them um, well thank you for watching um, if you like this video please subscribe and um, I'll see you all in the next video thanks